Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. is our first touch base with you guys uh, of the week. Uh, and somebody else is also uh, excited for his first touch with you of the week is our friend from Beacon, New York, the first, the only Mayhemmer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike. Sorry, did you say I was going to touch the listeners? Is that what I said? I don't think that's what I said. I that you said it sounded like I was excited for our first touch with. Him. I don't know. No, it's it's all about context, sir, and I don't think you. Okay, I don't think all, you read all, me it's right. It's also all about consent. It's, yes, it's all about consent. Yeah, by by hitting play and hitting that link, they have consented to all the internet touching. Wow, Facebook's terms and service is really up the ante. Up the I know, right? It, it really, I mean, they're really kind of stretching and and and, and touching all the things. Right. I, 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 hey, first off, so we're we're uh, experimenting a little bit, and this is the first time we're going to be broadcasting, and maybe we'll do this a uh, uh, pretty regularly now on the IndieWrestling.us Twitch page. I know some guys have been uh, enjoying the uh, Monday Night Rise there tonight, so I hope you guys have stuck with us and hung out uh, for uh, this show. This is what we do every mi- Monday night. I mean, it's not necessarily a raw recap. It's what we kind of used to call it, uh, but now it kind of turns into uh, Mike and I talking about Avengers and and Legos and whatever is going on. We actually going to have a special edition, uh, and actually we have I have people asking to be on this show now, like like wrestling people asking to be on this show, not the not the other two shows we do, but this show. I, I, this is turning into something different. So you want to hear something ironic? Hmm. Do you know what I want to talk about? Not Avengers? Raw. You want to talk about Raw? I kind of want to talk about Raw. What? What is this world? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We do a thing here. We do a thing. Can we do a thing first? Or do you just, do just want to? Thing. Yeah. There, All right. There, there was a lot of good this weekend. Dude, there was a lot of great. There was so, a lot of good. There was a lot of good. And and I'll leave like the SummerSlam and the TakeOver talk for later or the other shows. But I got to talk about, about my indies, man. I went to three th- shows. I shot okay. two of them. Well, okay. No, I shot one of them. And then the other one, I <laughs> I'll use the wrong finger. You did Sorry not about shoot that. The deputy. I did not shoot the deputy. Um, I, 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 helped uh i was we were doing facebook live uh with fight society uh friday night at mckeesport um that was fun and we had like over 800 views through the night and we cut we cut that right after so that's not like sticking around and and that kind of stuff and uh and then kswa uh we did saturday night just went and hung out and saw a lot of our friends saw a cowboy rev ron hunt dude cowboy rev ron hunt cowboy rev ron hunt it okay. is a sight um and uh, let's see, we uh, well, and then earlier that day, I helped with a, uh, a, a live stream for Facebook of uh, the Drinking Partners podcast with the, uh, I believe he was the owner of uh, Brooklyn Brewery up in your up in your neck of the woods. Oh, so it's part of Fresh Fest, I believe, is the biggest black brewer um, uh, 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 fest, beer fest uh, in the country. Uh, featured with USA Today, there's their second year, I believe. Uh, that was really cool to be a part of, and uh, has nothing to do with wrestling. Although Happy Hour, a uh, friend of the show, was there representing his brewery, so that was. So I guess it did have a, a, a link there. And uh, of course, Sunday uh, there was a great uh, benefit for a family who's a family who's uh, 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 had somebody pass. Uh, it was to help help them out down in West Virginia, uh, and uh, with our friends at Black Diamond. Uh, Beastman actually set up the show. Had a great match with him and a uh, friend of the show, Sam Adonis, uh, and a lot of other good stuff there. That's in the works. Got that sent out to the to the to the, to the commentating. Uh, since we didn't have one on hand, uh, so that'll be coming up on IndieWrestling.us in the coming week uh, as well. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, so, uh, so a lot of fun happening. We're we're very busy here in the Pittsburgh, <laughs> Greater Pittsburgh area, with wrestling, and it's awesome. And somehow got to watch SummerSlam and Takeover as well. Uh, mm-hmm. How about you? What's your good this weekend, Mike? Um. Well, Takeover. Mm-hmm. Uh, was, 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 was good as always. It was fantastic. Uh, uh, su- Summer Slam, which I turned into Some More Slam because 
We we roasted Ooh, s'mores. Some we, more slam. Yeah, we we roasted s'mores during the Kofi and Orton match. That's I brought fan. the I brought the iPad outside. We had streaming on the on the that port, is great on the patio. It was I great. love that. I love that idea. It was some more slam. It was great. And um, I I I I liked Raw. I I, I liked Raw. I I don't know Ed... Sorg. What's... See see here's the thing. Sorg. Let me check reason... on you. Have we have you been to the have you been to a hospital today? Are you have you been checking? No, on? I'm going to one tomorrow. Oh, but oh. <laughs> uh... yeah, but okay. um okay. No, but um. See, the reason you and I started talking more about like Marvel and things of that nature is because Raw was fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Um, sort we had a lot happen on Raw tonight. And if, if you want to talk about superheroes, uh, Wolverine and Nightwing were both wrestling this weekend, and I was on board with it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, when when Johnny Gargano gets called up, can we? Just have him in a tag team with Ricochet and call them the Super Friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. All that thing. Can. Yes, we can. All of that. All of that. Yes, we can. Uh, you know, I, he came out with that Wolverine outfit on uh, on uh, Saturday, or, and 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 or, just the thing that the thing that's just like, yes, this is the guy we talked to about uh, Power Ranger birthday parties. So, of course. Did you did you see the tiny claws? I didn't notice the tiny claws. He had tiny claws. I was very. It was, he, it was, he had. He had. Hold on. Hold on. Sorg Phil. Uh, Phil. Phil. Well, anyways, no. Uh, takeover. I probably didn't know. Uh, what? Because it was after the one show. I had to wait for WWE Network to let me watch it because I've been not happy with that. It's been t screwing up my two hundred five live watching on Tuesday nights because it, 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 they're just having a little bit of a layover before it's available versus the old version. Uh, not to mention this idea that, uh, oh, I can't Chromecast from my app anymore. Thanks for that 10 minutes before SummerSlam when I walk in the door uh, and figure out what I have that I can hook up that has an app, which ended up being the um, the uh, Xbox One, which only had a, only had a couple. I mean, it had a little bit of skip, so it wasn't too great. Still better than the USA Network app uh, Chromecast that I watch Raw with. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mike, are you back? Because I'm running out yeah. of things to say. Yes. Um. So... Johnny Gargano's tiny claws on his wristbands mm -hmm. looked exactly like this. <laughs> nice, nice. That's for the and visuals. Yes, that is my Lego Johnny Gargano. That is that is nice. Yeah, I love, it's, even, I, it's even shorter than the other. I character. love the side mouthing. Hey, can I talk about? Can I? I know you really want to talk raw, but I can, can I talk a not raw thing for a bit? Yeah, sure. Um, Hobbs and Shaw. Have you seen oh, it yet? I have not. Um, okay, this is a thing that one. If you like a movie where it's it is literally just Rock and and Statham um, hurling insults at each other the entire two hours of this movie. That's kind of what it seemed like. It is also every high spot of Rock's wrestling career. Okay, down to making fun of the elbow, the elbow, the eyebrow thing that he does. I don't think yep. he did an elbow. Um, also, Roman. Just spirit every motherfucker out there. <laughs> of course just, he did. Just, just straight up. It's just like Roman. It's it's non-speaking line. Roman Reigns in the background of every shot in Samoa, and it's just like, well, what if? Wait, he doesn't have one line of dialogue. That's that ooh thing he does. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's his only line. That's it. Ooh That's it. That's all he gets. That's all he gets. But he looked great doing it. Oh, he that's looked funny. Great doing it. That's very um, funny. So. Uh, also, uh, Aquaman, I think I enjoyed it the second time around better than the first time. Okay. Uh, you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah. I enjoyed Shazam more. Ooh. More I, I didn't get all the way th back through Shazam, but Shazam I watched it. Shazam was great. I see, I get a DVD or Blu-ray or the, the Blu-ray with the code and I put in the thing and then I'm on the iTunes and I, I do the extra features. I watch those before I go watch the movie again. Because I love Oh, the, yeah, me too. Because I love the background. Because video things uh yeah. anyways uh we do have some comments in the chat room we want to touch on before mm -hmm. you start gloating about raw and like i said we do have uh matt collins coming in because he wants to talk about g1 climax i know nothing about g1 Cl climax i know some other other than people are out there just been like you know going crazy uh, about it right apparently there's some kind of club that is obsessed with bullets really i but i hear it's not the the important club uh, it's not the original it's not the it's not that. Okay. Right? Okay. It's not California. What? 
the OC. The OC. Oh, no, no, not that one. Yes. Uh, but we do have some stuff out there. Sue, so, if I can get a, a human head on a lantern, I'm almost certain we can get a name change back to uh, the Warren Riders. I believe she means War Raiders. War Raiders? Yeah. Okay. I would also accept the Warren Riders. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah, human head on a lamp. Uh, let's let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't see it tonight that, on that Raw. That sure did happen. Yeah, that was a holy shit moment. Mm -hmm. uh, a great entrance, you know, it, the the lantern with the human head, um, and just. Or did you see they're also selling puppets on shop? Are they? We oh, can, that's coming we, around, huh? We can get we can get ourselves a rambling rabbit. We can get ourselves a boss puppet that looks nothing like the one that's actually in the funhouse. I wonder why. <laughs> Okay, all we right. We get a Mercy the Buzzard puppet. That's creepy and awesome at the same time. Um, mm -hmm. There was a really good tweet uh, by somebody that was uh, um, the uh, the the. Uh, it was in reference to Undertaker and says, you know, the the. Oh know, yeah, the, the tor torch the isn't in the past. It was taken. Or yeah, something. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because it yeah. had a lot of that feel of it, and it was just the creep factor was up. People had chills, like we were seeing something special with this. Mm -hmm. So, and and and, you know. I, I also want to give a special shout out to Alexa Bliss in her Buzz Lightyear outfit. <laughs> and and even more special shout out to Nikki to uh, Billy Kay for selling the little laser gimmick. Oh, um, I need to go watch the pre-show, don't I? Yes, you do. Mm. Sorry. Yes, you do. I'm like, it's a kickoff. Nothing's going to happen. Whoa, Turns out sword. everything happened. Jeez. Sword. Should have known better. Should have known better. The kickoff better. had the only tag team match. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Yep. Wow. No tag team defenses. Nope. Oh, and Mail. Uh, Sorg, I need to say this now so it's out in the world for, mm -hmm. for everyone to start saying it and then claiming it was their idea when really I'm the first one saying it out I, loud. I think that's how the secret works. Yes. Um. Main event, WrestleMania 36. Sasha versus Becky versus Bailey versus Charlotte for the Raw Women's title. Mm. And for the SmackDown Women's title, Asuka versus Kyrie Sane. Oh, boy. Is yep. e that, that, those, are, those are the matches. That makes I sense. Think. I was going to say, is Io Shirai going to be in this mix? But if she's still on a different no, level. No, she's probably going to be NXT Women's Champion at that <laughs> point. <laughs> you better believe she is. Holy shit. She was, that was like, that was amazing. Io was a completely other person there she she rejoined the black lotus tribe no oh, oh okay i was half except i was half expecting pentagon to yeah come pretty out much break her arm again pretty much pretty much hold on i think we got a caller on the line these cans are hot oh hey you're on the wrong hey. Hey. now you're in both ears hello Sorg? hey. sorgy baby yes i brought you a present, you brought me a present. Uh oh yeah, you know, I got kids. You you do got kids. I got kids. And uh, you, this you has been sitting account. around in the basement for way too long, and I just can't stand to look at it <laughs> anymore. Love... So I brought you this authentic, pristine, oh. unused coloring and sticker book. And you um you know this is good because you know this is the era you want to be in because on the back, the three faces of fear, Cena, <laughs> Punk, Sin Cara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people that's... don't recall a lot of people choose to forget how how much that ugly nasty corporate machine was behind Sin Cara at the very beginning all you need to do all you need to do to know how hard the company was behind a certain character that may or may not have failed at one point or in time is look at the kids stuff look at the coloring books go to the, the party city the scooby-doo and, movie and, and be astonished to find unlimited product placement of people like Sin Cara mm -hmm. and the funkasaurus and you realize they had big plans and yeah. uh they, Kofi, they didn't really work Kofi's out but yeah. all over that Kofi's on the front Kofi's on the front boom boom we got um we got some stickers oh a couple pages of stickers and uh, we, I, we got oh look we got was there anything been we got colored some activities in? hasn't been colored in uh, no I don't think so oh, yeah, we're gonna change all, that this is pristine but producer so you're Messi. gonna need to find some crayons get the crayons draw triple H <laughs> draw, draw triple, triple H. H we're gonna oh have, can you just throw see, we're, see, draw, we're just gonna have a, we're just gonna have a Facebook live feed of us like coloring this you thing. see here's the thing 
<laughs> Drop Triple H. What else we got? Here's here? the thing. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, we got all sorts of activities. Jeez. Oh yeah, you can draw all sorts of people. Kofi's uh, well represented in here. Oh. Um, you see, he was uh, ahead of its time. Let me try to find out exactly what year this came out in. Um, do they have to put the publication dates on these? Maybe on the back. 2013. 2013. The year of Sin Cara. The year of. I'd argue anyway. the year of Sin Cara was well before that. In, in the words of Toro Yano, this is for you. This is for you. Thank you. Okay. This Thank is you. for I you. Appreciate okay. it. Okay. Okay, Mr. I've watched all of the G1. Anyways, okay. uh, well, uh, Mike is very excited about Raw tonight. I don't know if you've been catching and illegally listening to the show on the way over here. Um, <laughs> but uh, he is very excited about Raw tonight. Uh, what, 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 were, what was your take off of tonight? Uh, from what I caught, it was just kind of... It was just kind of there. It did. It did its thing. Obviously, blue hair is back. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Remember, God, blue, blue hair. pink, good. Blue, evil. So we learned that tonight. I, I don't understand why she needed the wig. I, I that that was lost. I, I I thought it was kind of funny. I, I did love, think it was funny. I love the I love the gif of Sasha Banks hiding her heel turn by by disguising herself as herself, and then showed like Sting <laughs> pulling the mask off in TNA, and he just it was yeah, just him in the paint. Sting takes yeah. off the yeah. mask to reveal Sting. Yeah. Wait, you, that mask? You look just like Sasha Banks. She takes off the wig. Oh my god, it is oh Sasha my god, Banks. It's Sasha. And I'm just like, oh. wait, was it like <laughs> Becky the whole time? And then like like literally, there's a moment where I'm like, is this actually Becky? Is this? Was this her thing? You know, then I'm like, wait, we and saw her face. She would have gotten away with it if it were for you nasty kids. Like, there I, was a lot of Scooby-Doo to that moment. Although, where's the moment? There's I, a lot of Scooby-Doo on this episode. There was a bit. There was a bit. But, I, like, well, I, I was half going to say, I want the part where somebody does come out and disguise themselves and rips off a mask and they're a completely other person. But I realized that did happen once in the show. Yeah. I, I believe on SmackDown when Mr. Bischoff was the old man. Uh, yeah. Did I hear somebody <laughs> say three minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Was probably one of the greatest minutes moments of uh, minutes of wrestling. I, I, uh, I, I, I will argue. The... I will argue that's Eric Bischoff's greatest moment in WWE. Definitely. Oh yeah, without oh, a doubt. Yeah, that's that's a, like an amazing. all-time moment. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm still waiting yeah. for him to just pop up in a mask. And since we're talking about wrestlers hiding in plain sight in the crowd, um, you made me think back to when Becky disguised herself. You used, used a pair of glasses, basically, and Clark Kennett herself yeah, in the uh, yes. audience and then jumped Charlotte Flair. And then there was the time very <laughs> during the uh, Gargano Champa feud mm-hmm. when they were getting in, heading into a New Orleans mm-hmm. takeover. Yep. Johnny Gargano hid himself as a sign, disguised himself as a sign. Yep. And then the sign pops down. And w- w- if you when you watch the clip, th- the the fan standing beside Johnny Gargano didn't know it was Johnny Gargano <laughs> and turns is like, oh, my oh. God. Yeah. That sign carrying fan was Johnny Gargano the whole time. And the minute he puts down the sign, it's like, oh my God. So, yeah. Yeah. Great moments that. in disguised wrestlers. In the, <laughs> great, in the moments in dis- great moments in deception. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, so so, uh, Mike. What else was what else was really big? We're getting King of the Ring next week, Sorg. We're getting King of the Ring. We had. Well, we, we're getting the start of King of the Ring. I thought we, they were just going to be doing a whole one night tournament. Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound like it's going to be that, which is a shame. But okay, I get it. Who's in this but, field? How um, how big is this field? Is this sixteen field? Eighteen eight from Raw, eight from SmackDown. Okay, sixteen. That's so, good, fun. So I, I want like I, like real quick, if we can pick a final. Like I'm assuming the final is going to be someone for Raw or someone for SmackDown. If we can just pick right now who we want, like our top mm. two, to be vying to be King of the Ring. Who would you guys? Pick? I mean, so, uh, King Ricochet and Cesaro is well, but they're both on Raw. No, Cesaro's SmackDown. I nope, thought Cesaro. Dude, is I don't even freaking know. He's fighting Alistair Black. I don't even. Jeez. <laughs> It, it Cesaro is raw. Has anyone so, knocked on Alistair Black's door and tell, told him that there's an entire <laughs> tournament of fighting that's starting soon? Then give him. Oh, he might like give to know me, that. Then give me Ricochet and Alistair Black. Okay, that would be a nice right. little. Uh, that would be nice. Be a nice setup right there. Yeah. Okay, Matt. I'm digging it. Uh, give me. Um, uh, I'm not going to go with your worst nightmare, the Baron Corbin nightmare scenario. Give oh, me God. Drew McIntyre versus Ali in the final. Ooh, okay. I'm saying Cesaro and Ali. I like that too. Make way for King Ali. King Ali. Hey, hey. King Ali. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's, King Ali, oh. fabulously Ali Ababwa. It might be too right. on the nose. Hey, genuflect. Show some respect down on one knee, all right? Exactly. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll do the whole thing. If Alexa can dress as Buzz Lightyear, I can sing that whole fucking song. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't a good. Sorg, you need to watch the pre-show. It, it wasn't a good night to be Canadian on on SummerSlam as a whole. <laughs> no, was it? no. Well, no, unless you're Kevin Owens. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying Kevin Owens had a good night. as a whole. As a whole, Tina wants a uh, ricochet, ricochet versus Rusev or Sheamus. I, I think Sheamus is out. Uh, Sheamus may not wrestle again. Yeah, I hear Sheamus. I'm, is I'm done. not sure if that's. Although, so Sheamus for somebody like. He has transitioned entirely already into guy that goes around and shoots stuff for his YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Um, like, like I was listening to Edge and Christian podcast. They're like, oh, yeah, Seamus was here the other day, and we're filming some stuff. I'm just like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> no, he, he does workouts. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. The Celtic Cross workouts or whatever. Yeah. So, And I think Rusev has asked for time off, so I mm-hmm. don't think you'll see Rusev either. But Rusev versus Ricochet would be great. But oh, I don't know if I foresee that happening. That was so weird. Who we didn't see on SummerSlam? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns was was odd. You I know. was trying to think of the last time non leukemia, Roman Reigns was not on a pay per view. Yeah. And I, and I could not think of one. And was he even on tonight? Nope. Well, he's a SmackDown guy, sort. He's a SmackDown guy. Is he? I. I. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> He's the Damn biggest it. acquisition in SmackDown Live history, so are we, are we like finally? I, yeah, technically were... that was Elias. Mm, it depends on who you ask. Oh wait, and Elias was well, there yeah. tonight, and he's a SmackDown guy. <laughs> yeah, so, but Elias was going after a twenty four seven title. Yes, but he had a not moment. just going after. He he also had Acquiring. his he had a moment. He had his thing. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, anyways, I yeah. It and, was, <laughs> What was and that? the revival or the first ever co-champions? The revival or first ever co-champions? Oh, man. You gotta well, love my, that. Wife, my wife popped hard for that. The best part about that little moment there was her cheering for Dash to get the pin and be the twenty four seven champion over Scott Dawson. That was pretty funny. <laughs> she she prefers Dash over Scott. Top guy, whatever, oh, top, guys, whatever top guy you prefer more because he looks I, more like me, of course. You know, he's more, um, more resemblance. Okay. Huh? I, I think there are other reasons if what? you search through the bowels of the internet. Yeah, I bet. Wait, what? Is there. Is there a revival dark web out there? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. You know what? Don't tell me. There's only don't one tell me. reason you know what? women me. like certain wrestlers. Sword. There's only one Jen, reason. Jen shared information with me that I did not consider. I've already been sent like uh, uh, awkward pictures of Seth Rollins. So oh, that's... this is this is yeah, a little bit a little bit more than that. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, top guys, brother. Top I've top also guys. seen. I've always seen. Also seen a little bit more of Xavier's Wood than I'd like to. <laughs> oh, we all did. Yeah, yeah. that was unfortunate. Yeah. By the way, tough um, break for everyone involved there. By the way, Ed, uh, do you guys watch Up Up Down Down at all? Uh, I not regularly, unfortunately. Um, okay. Um, just... Well, th- this is a spoiler. <laughs> to, to Up Up Down Down. <laughs> yes, this is an Up Up Down Down spoiler. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, right. I still got the Avengers spoilers. Um. So we'll yeah. just roll with that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah. Um, eh, eh. Spoiler alert. We have Sethy Two Belts. He's Sethy Two Belts. He's the Universal Champion and the Up Up Down Down Champion. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. And if you want to watch something amazing, watching Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe playing. NES track and field <laughs> <laughs> playing arm wrestling mm-hmm. is one of the greatest 10 minutes of footage you'll ever see. Now, now, Sethi is an ace at Madden. Is that is that true? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's, he's so only like... defeated once in tournament play, and that was by, uh, I believe, Shelton by God Benjamin. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, no, Jeez. no. No, like Kofi's really good Excuse at Madden, me. right? Isn't that the Jason thing? Jordan. It was Jason Jordan. Man, Did you just confuse Jason Jordan and Shelton Benjamin? Yes. Hmm. Well, I'll mm. give you that. I'll give you that. Uh, <laughs> um. Anyways, I'm sorry. I was going through the old videos where we did a gag where we couldn't tell if Shelton Ben or WWE and TNA didn't know if Shelton Benjamin and Jay Lethal were the same person or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they probably still don't know. It was. I mean, it was like 2007. It was less separated. Um. But anyways. 
Uh, so he took the he took the title from Joe. Oh. Yeah, the the power game. Uh, power Tina game Tina's power. pointing out that the SmackDown Live 20th anniversary show is the first show on Fox, even though technically it premiered 20 years ago this month. Well, you know what? Technically, we've technically, technically the pilot episode of SmackDown was in April. Ah, now we're so we're just splitting the we're, no, that's that's not even an average. I uh, you know, listen, it's just bad math. Um, so. Look, when you're on the when you're in the TV biz, I mean, they did it with the um with the Raw anniversary. Uh, also, they just kind of they fudged it. You got to yeah. get into those nice little ratings periods. You know, you do what you got to do. I feel like I need to explain the thing earlier. The idea was it was WWE corporate and TNA corporate, and they couldn't tell the two of them apart. Yeah. In general, it's too- also I realized I'm not going to be able to watch the first uh, SmackDown on Fox Live. Listen, I'm not watching any SmackDown Live. Let's be honest about it. I got shit to do, Mike. I'm going to be in New Orleans. Oh. For a wedding. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And Tina, that was, it was just a simple mistake. All right. You know, Seth, I, Seth has faced Shelton Benjamin in one of the Madden tournaments before. I just got confused which video it was because they're both very close matches. That's true. Tina, we've got a lot of work to do. Also, everybody has different names. So it gets confusing too, right? Yeah, I don't even remember what Jason Jordan's nickname was. I know Shelton J- Shelton Benjamin is VG OG. Yeah, because they'll start. Oh no, OG VG. Those are they're still call- calling people's different names and stuff. I'm like, I have no idea. I have no idea who who Rusev mm-hmm. is or in this or anything. Yeah, like because like, Kofi is known as Mister Twenty Four Seven. Yeah, and they showed up and they bumped into our truth, who's the Twenty Four Seven champion. Up, up, down, down is very- yes. <laughs> and- but uh, Kofi is also known as Mr. Gacho, a.k.a. Mr. Gacho Ass. Oh, my. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. You know, do you know why Kofi is called Mr. 24-7 on Up, Up, Down, Down? Hmm. Because the only time Xavier Woods has played in the Madden tournament, Kofi beat him by a score of 24-7. to 7. That's oh. funny. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorgan, did you check the... um? The special they did on Kofi that aired uh, after uh, SummerSlam. We were starting to, I, I was starting to watch it with uh, Bradley, and we started talking about other things and turning it down. But I, uh, I just want to uh, – I'll give a quick endorsement for it right now. Okay. It was really good. And after yeah. I was done watching it and watching Kofi's inspiring story of perseverance, I was about damn ready to run through a brick wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, had, it had a very yeah. Rudy effect on me. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's, and, uh, it's really, really good. like um, – it's really it, just – I mean, it's just all about – I love – the thing, and I've heard him say it before. I love his phrase of keeping your sword sharp. So while he's languishing and you know, in the undercard and seemingly not doing much, he's talking about keeping your sword sharp because you never know. And then sure enough, you know that one moment that that door cracks open, and Kofi's ready. You know, it's amazing. The the, the, the series of the sequence of events is incredible. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, good special. Go check it out. And Brandon, addressing your question in the chat room, I have some uh, things to deal with this week, but then I will finalize a draft date for fantasy. Football. That's right. The Mayhem Draft Fantasy Football is going down. I saw it. And, and Sorg, there will be a prize this season. Yes. What? There is going to be a prize this season. We're all giving each other up, up, down, down nicknames for the fantasy oh. league, too. And, and Brandon oh, oh, is like the that. ace of the universe. So I like just that. letting you guys know. I like that. I'll be – um uh. I'll be I'll be the future endeavored. <laughs> oh jeez, it's not, yeah, the, I feel like the fantasy football should be its own podcast. Uh, yeah, you know, like that could problem. be a, that could be a nice um, beta test for the XFL podcast. We can, <laughs> there you go. We gotta get those. <laughs> we gotta get those mustard yellow blazers, sword. We need to get those. <laughs> Let's go to the Salvation Army tomorrow. Let's see if we can find them. We need a, <laughs> oh, we need a we need a trophy that we name after somebody's ex girlfriend in high school. Shiva Kamini. So- <laughs> Thank you. I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Shiva! Shiva! God, I miss the league. <laughs> oh, wow. Such God, a great show. Such a great show. I, I love just, how many so shows. I went to had. Uh-oh. No, Mike, no. Oh, he's frozen. Well, since we're talking about programming, I've never seen the league. <laughs> I've been told I should watch it sometime. Oh, but my like, God, Matt, you would love the league. I, oh, everyone geez. tells me I would love Listen, the league, but I've never seen it. It's not about it. football. It's not, it's not about this football This is what happens when you're watching professional wrestling basically 20 hours out of your 24-hour days. There you go. You don't have time for well, anything you just, else. You just lean over. Like, I'm watching Ballers because The Rock's in it, and that works for me. So, yeah, it works for me. Yeah. I, I caught the first episode of Glow. 
Okay. Season, uh, three, three. Okay. Two? Okay. No spoilers, Solid. No right on. Right on track, oh, man. It's geez. just okay. as good as ever. Okay. No spoilers. Yeah, I won't spoil anything. I'm just telling you. I mean, just like I watched the first episode, and the vibe was right. It was. It was. It just had that same feel as the first two seasons. I, man, that show is so fucking good. I'm uh, finishing Stranger Things first, and then I'm going to move to Glow. I haven't even. Dan, I'm still Jessica Jones. Still, I just. I I'm so pissed off because start. because last Why'd year when Aquaman? we were doing when we were doing end of the year awards, I forgot to nominate Liberty Bell versus Zoya the Destroyer as my <laughs> feud of the year. I was totally yeah. gonna do that. It was a great feud. It was an awesome feud. feud. There wasn't a better Jeez. feud the whole year than uh, that one. Mike, Mike, is there anything yeah. else about Raw we should be talking about? Uh I feel like the, oh, Andrade, Andrade, getting that, getting, getting that big rub, mm-hmm. getting that big rub, mm-hmm. two falls straight. I think mm-hmm. we are leaning into Ray losing his mask. <gasps> no, I think I think we're leaning into it. You know what? It, it, it is the right time of his career to do it if you're going to do it in, in the no, WWE. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. You don't like think how, many, how much of his merchandise? checks do you think are based on just the sales of masks alone you can, yeah you, you can, can still, do still that. That is everything you can still sell listen the mask. man not you still got masks. you got plenty of mask play over on the wwe network Matt, all i know is that he was unmasked in wcw when he showed up in wwe he had the mask back clearly he prefers the mask and i think at this stage he's he's gonna have a say over it i can't imagine he's gonna let i you know. think but I andrade think shaved bald, bald. Mm-hmm. all right i they should put Zelina vega's hair on the line <laughs> Oh, no. I hear that's that, like and she was bragging about it tonight. She's like, I don't even do anything to it. It just comes out this way. I was like, oh, your hair looked amazing tonight. It, and she says she doesn't even <laughs> she says she doesn't even do anything to it. Just wakes up looking like that. No, seriously. Like my fiance was like, what did Selena do to her hair? I'm like, I, I think it's that post honeymoon glow. <laughs> it's still glowing. Like how many months later? No, their honeymoon was pretty recent. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Have fun, you kids. What can I yeah. say? Wow, love, love is love, Matt. Love is love. All right. Well, on that <laughs> at that point, I understand that Matt Collins has a uh, yeah wanted yeah, wanted some time. That, uh, you have the, charts. And the, <laughs> Wait, just, what is I this? I wanted to show you this. Uh, since I went full New Japan nerd this year, <laughs> since I kept, <laughs> I showed right. you these charts right uh, when they were yeah, blank. Yeah, yeah. And I told you I was going to use them to keep track of the tournament, and I did. I put a little dot every time they won a match. Oh, jeez. And it helped me, and then I could see, it's, it's you know. It's so nice that you live in a different time see, zone. Then I could fully appreciate the enormity of John Moxley's losing streak in the middle of that <laughs> tournament, and I could just cry and cry wait, and cry. Wait, wait, which what? line of dots is that? What, which, oh, this is. The, this I can is, see the dots here's through the, the paper. Here's the Moxley flow chart, all right? Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, didn't he, Boo. Didn't he start off? Didn't he start off like four and zero or something? He started like that? off um, five and zero. Wow! Five and, 0. and then he and then he got yanoed, and it completely <laughs> threw him off, and he lost four straight. But did, um, he, did he just lose his shit the every time he lost? He, you know, he lost his shit regardless. Now, like, now hold on, hold on. Whose tantrums were better, Mox's or Billy K's? Billy K's tantrums are. On another uh, level. See, could you put? Yeah. Could you okay, put? I was gonna wait, say, wait, wait, wait. There's only one answer to that. Could but you, you but Moxley's right. reaction to losing to Yano was pretty damn funny. Could you put any of Moxley's uh, tantrums to uh, pit music? <laughs> no, you, no, you cannot. That was amazing. No, you cannot. <laughs> oh, find that if you haven't. Open this pit up. <laughs> I never knew. I never knew what a, a, an Australian uh, mosh pit looked like until oh, that moment. Oh God! Looks like a bunch well, of sorry, yeah. looks kicking like kangaroos just bouncing around. It looks around. like that, but it's upside down. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that, but upside down. It spins the other way. The circle pit spins the other way. Where you now know you see <laughs> the pit spins the other way <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Yeah, so um, anyway, anyway, thanks to this handy chart, you could really get a feel for like who was, you know, it was mm-hmm. handy. It was it was very helpful for me uh, because um, otherwise I wouldn't be able to keep up with what's going on. Lance Archer, poor Lance Archer went on a oh, one, man. two, three, four, five, six match losing streak in the middle of this tournament. But he was awesome. He was awesome in this tournament. He was awesome. I can't state this enough. Lance Archer was freaking awesome. Uh, so shout out to the Russell fan down in Texas. Uh, if you see your boy, tell him. He was awesome. I think I even told him myself on the Twitter machine, and he gave it a little heart. So it was good to know. Um, hey, you know what, Sorg? Let me just um, 
I kind of went since I've got all these guys here. I, you want me to just go through this and, and just kind of like give some quick impressions on the whole uh, thing? Kind of, yeah, I can, I can just go through each guy and oh, just be yeah, like, I don't want, I don't think save I something minutes. for the show tomorrow. I, I might um, not oh, be on we'll, the show tomorrow. We'll, we'll so play we'll, we're going to have the gavel on tomorrow. They just had the finals this morning. Yeah, this is fresh. This is I off just the presses. watched this whole thing happen. Mm -hmm. I watched an insane Bullet Club angle. Mm -hmm. Um, Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Wait, I mean, wait, but wait, this wait, thing wait, wait. aired. Hold on. There we go. Avengers spoilers. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, it's already Friday in Japan, so I mean, it's really it should be okay. <laughs> um, but it kind of is. I, I, all right, so I, I'll I'll leave the finals alone. I'll just tell you, you know, it, it, it was it was a good final, and it was an insane Bullet Club angle. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so, so, so anyway, um, first of all, Moxley. All right, it was he was awesome. All right, all my faith in John Moxley is restored. He he is he is. If not the one of my favorite wrestlers in the world now, am I still Bar in the spoiler zone? Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. All right, we'll get rid um, of it. You know, uh, uh, let's see who else was there. Naito. You know what? Like everyone loves Naito. Everyone thought he was gonna win the block, but he's you tranquilo. Know what? He is tranquilo. He's fun. Uh, he was a little bit hit or miss for me sometimes. Uh, Jay White. All right, Jay White. Here's all I want to say about Jay White. <laughs> I hate his freaking guts. <laughs> All right, and I know, I know, I, I know, I'm, I'm, I know that's the intent, but I really do hate his freaking guts. Like every time he comes on my TV, it's, it's full on. And, you know, I'm watching him. Mm -hmm. he, he, okay, so he, so he loses the first three matches in his G1. All right, and then he, after he loses the third straight match, after he gets yanoed, it has the opposite effect on him that it had on Moxley. Because then Jay White says, "You know what? I'm still gonna win." I'm just gonna tear off six straight wins in this G1, and I'm and I'm gonna win this whole block, and then he proceeds to start piling up wins. So as the tournament's going on, you're me, and you're just dreading every Jay White match because you're so sick of seeing this absolute jag off win match after match after match. And look, I'm not saying Jay White's a bad wrestler. I'm not saying Jay White's overrated. I'm just saying, I hate his guts. And every time he wins, it pisses me off. And uh, you know what, Jay White, good on you, but no, no more. There was a match during this tournament. Jay White won, Sorgi. Jay White won this match. My nine-year-old son, Mason, gets up, says, I hate that guy, and he stomps out of the room. <laughs> that was the effect Jay White was having on people. My wife hates Jay White now. And his ugly, and his ugly pirate wannabe beard it's, it's just terrible. I, I've, oh, I've already I, said I too much. I haven't seen the beard. Oh, God. He looks like a rat. He looks like either a pirate or a rat, whichever one you want to be. It must is all be a pirate rat. So he, he must be like, a pirate rat. But I, so I, he looks like Rizzo and Muppet Treasure Island? He looks like Rizzo and Muppet Treasure Island, except okay. with, 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 with absolutely zero redeeming value. It, it, yeah, oh, he's just such a – oh, man. He just plays it so evil. He just plays it so bad, guy. And, and it's just it's, – it's, it's it gets me, you know. It gives me the real feel, so it's a good thing. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii uh, might have been the MVP of the tournament. He was awesome. His match with Moxley was incredible. My favorite match of the tournament: Ishii versus Moxley. It was dynamite. Um, so Ishii's awesome, no matter what. You can't go wrong there. Uh, Hiroki Goto, eh, hit or miss. Um, eh, more more miss than hit. I I don't know. I I he doesn't he doesn't quite land for me all the time. But although I you know. Nothing but respect, but uh, Jeff Cobb, his first G one, Sorgi, yeah. Jeff Cobb, the Monster Matanza. Uh, yeah, um, uh, 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 um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bobby F J Towns, buddy. Yeah, um, they share a love for turtles. He didn't. Uh, he didn't do great as far as results go. He only got four wins in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, you know, he did okay. I I don't, I don't know. People were kind of being um, you know, some of the some of the smarks. We're being a little bit critical of him, saying that like he uh, wasn't being charismatic enough or emotional enough. So, but that's kind of like that's Jeff Cobb, right? Yeah, he's just kind of like I'm from Hawaii and I'm gonna do my flips and throw you around and I'm gonna win. Uh, but I guess when he doesn't win all the time, it kind of maybe doesn't have the same effect. Uh, Shingo Takagi, you know this name? I don't. He's awesome. He was awesome in the Best of the Super Juniors. Now he's moved up to heavyweight. It just happened. I think he just announced today. He's awesome. He only had four wins in the tournament. 
but he's awesome. Just absolutely awesome. So uh, if you're looking for some good stuff from him, um, go check out some of his stuff too. Uh, Juice Robinson, you know Juice Robinson, right? Uh-huh. The former CJ Parker. He's awesome. Um, he had a great tournament. Uh, had a lot of great matches. His match um, on the final night of the uh, block matches against John Moxley was fantastic. Um, in my opinion, just as good, maybe better in some ways than uh, their U.S. title match. Um, so, I mean, those two, Mox and Juice, have great chemistry, and I can't wait to see them have another match. Um, Toro Yano, Sorgi. Toro Yano's a personal hero of mine now. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, um, a bit of a folk er- hero to you I, I, or, I got a chance uh, to show you a couple of his matches the nice okay, thing yeah. about showing your friends a Toro Yano match is it only lasts about four or five minutes um so no worries it, uh it, it was pretty fantastic we're, we're at the TGI Fridays like in the arena uh or, you know, outside the arena uh, uh for Raw last Monday and you're just like showing me like listen this is what you're missing in, G- in, in the climax I think the one I the yeah. first thing I had to show you I'm like sword 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 come here watch Yano and Naito <laughs> As they have I was the, like, and I was like, the, sir, <laughs> sir, we're being seated. As I they, don't know. What I'm <laughs> like, no, Sorg, watch this. Trust me. I, I had to like, ensure you, like, Sorg, this is only five minutes. And then I had to, like, stop you. I'm like, no, no, no. Don't fast forward to the heart uh, to, to the heart of the match. You have to watch before the bell as they go over the debate over whether or not they're going to wear their shirts for the match because that's a critical plot point for the entire <laughs> match is whether Naito and Yano are going to wear their T-shirts. They go on, they go off. And they go on, and then they keep them on, and then the fun begins. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. If I had to pick like a second, most, this is going to sound dumb. All right, my number one <laughs> match from the tournament, Ishii and Moxley. My number two <laughs> match of the tournament, Yano and Naito. I loved it. It was great. I loved it. I know some of the people, you know, they've seen too much, and they've seen too much Yano, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't do it for him anymore. Me, I'm still very casual New Japan viewer, and it's still very fresh to me. Everything he does is funny to me. He pulls the turnbuckles off. He yells at people. He tries to sell his DVD. I laugh at everything. (laughs) I think he's the funniest dude on the face of the earth. In 2019, he's still trying to sell his DVD. I know. This is for you. 10,000 yen. Great. You hit the bit where Moxley had to steal the money to buy the DVD? <laughs> All right, long story. It's so funny. Uh, wait, isn't wait ten thousand yen? Isn't that like it's like uh, it's like a hundred dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars? What? Yeah, it was funny because he's like nine ninety nine. No, no, no. He, he it's like eight bucks. I think he sold the DVD to Mox for five thousand yen. Okay. And then Rocky Romero is on commentary telling like Kevin Kelly, "Yano sold that DVD to me for ten thousand yen." And Kevin Kelly's like, "Well, Rocky, you got ripped off, man." <laughs> Why is he selling it to Mox for five? Okay. Um, all right. The 10th guy from the, the B block, definitely worth mentioning, Tai Chi. Are you familiar with Tai Chi? Uh, it's not one of those extra weird right. characters he's got from this, like, WCW Revenge on the N64? He's got this weird Phantom of the Opera thing going on, all right? Oh. All right. And a very dramatic song, okay? Okay. Um, and people who have seen Tai Chi before, um, hopefully you will think this is funny. My wife had never seen Tai Chi before. She started watching the G1 with me. And let me just tell you, her mind was blown. At first, she was kind of intrigued. Then, Mm -hmm. as she saw it a couple more times, she was a little disgusted. (laughs) And by the end of the tournament, we were singing along with his entrance. All right? He comes out with his stupid... He's lip-singing the entrance, Sorg. I will show this to you after we get done here. Okay. And you'll get a chance to look at the Tai Chi entrance in all its glory. The Undertaker ain't got nothing on him, Sorg. <laughs> it about takes the, about what, 10 minutes. What about The Fiend? What about, I, you know what? The Fiend is good. I'm just talking when you're talking length. Has, it, has your When kick. you're talking the length of the, of the entrance... Tai Chi might be north of the Undertaker side when it note, comes side to note. how long it ha- takes. Has your, has your kid seen The Fiend? Uh, he insisted that his uh, grandmother fast forward through that match. <laughs> 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 That's the only report I got all on right, He's up right. in Erie hanging out with his grandma. Oh, that's good was, to uh, know. That's good to know. Um, all all right. right, real quick. Let me go. I'll well, run through the guys in the A block just so I can let you guys know. All right, I talked about Lance Archer. He's awesome. Will Ospreay. Probably the best wrestler on the planet right now. He's awesome. Just and go watch any of his matches. I understand after Saturday night, he's uh, he's uh, uh, tweeting with uh, one Johnny Patch after, oh, is after the stunt that he pulled Saturday night. Well, you know, Sorg, game respects game. That's right. You know? That is right. And Will Ospreay, you know what? And Johnny Patch, I tell you what. <laughs> when Johnny Patch pulls a, a shooting star coast to coast <laughs> in a cage and... <laughs> 
Well, so, and, and that makes uh, Will Will uh, uh, Osprey's like ears perk up. Something's up, you know. So yeah, I can only imagine like him sitting somewhere. <laughs> he he was sitting like probably at like a sushi bar in Japan. <laughs> okay, and so suddenly should... like he's eating his sushi, and all of a sudden he drops his chopsticks, and he's like, something happened. <laughs> Something incredible happened. The, Where the, I don't there's a know. Disturbance there's in the, a disturbance in the flippy force. There's a disturbance in the spot monkey force. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Johnny Patch is a dude that I watched. He had a match, an inter- inter- intergender match with Katie Arquette. He, he he does a springboard off the top rope just to land and deliver a super kick. And even he came up to me, came up to me in intermission and says, "Was that the most like indie thing you've ever seen?" I'm just like, "Yeah, that was a bullshit indie, but that was awesome." So. I would, hey, you know what? I would keep it. Yeah, <laughs> I would keep yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah, it everyone loves fantastic. a big wind up. People's elbow, Johnny Patch. That's all you need to know. <laughs> the people's <laughs> which elbow. we saw did on he Takeover. Have, did he have to run back and forth three times? No, no, no. but he did, and the people yes, loved him for it. Did right. he yeah. have to take off his elbow pad? No, he uh, didn't. sometimes you know. Speaking of t- oh, yeah, anyway, long story. Uh, we were talking about Osprey and taking off elbow pads. Hidden Blade, y'all. Um, okay, Bad Luck Fale. Um, he's Bad Luck Fale. I don't know why, but for some <laughs> reason he was winning matches with a small package in this tournament. What? The most... I don't know. <laughs> Is he the, like the biggest guy there? The Rogue General. And and Chase Owens follows him everywhere. Chase so Owens. I hope you get hey. to see Chase Owens soon. You have to ask. Him. I have so many questions for Chase Owens. I was going to say Chase Owens is going to be here Friday. I have in town. so many questions. Are you coming? For Ch- I may. I feel like I need to go. You kind of do because I've got about thirty questions for Chase Owens <laughs> after watching the G One, <laughs> and that's on top of all the questions I had for him yeah, before we, the G One. I need to reach out. Maybe I should reach out and see if we can get you an interview with him. Just tell Chase Owens I watched the G One and I've got a lot of questions. <laughs> just ask him. Chase, if you're out there, and we you know can you start watch. with, "Are you really going to storm Area 51 with bad luck, Bali?" <laughs> you can start with that one. <laughs> we got a lot of questions. Oh, that's great! I never thought in my life that Chase Owens would win me over, but here we are. He did it. I can't believe it. You good on you, Chase? All right. Uh, who else we and got he, here? He's taking on Lee Moriarty. I know it's going to be my awesome. God. I that's can't wait to see great. what Lee can do with him. Uh, Chase is. Dude, doing really Lee good Mor- things. You, you were there for when Lee Mor- Moriarty was like wall running. I've seen the clip. I wasn't there to see it live, but I've seen no, him no, do some great stuff. You were there stuff. for that, was I? The, yeah, must have been on the other side of the ring. No, no. Oh, are oh, you sure I wasn't oh, no, chasing no. Brandon K out into just, the uh, <laughs> lobby? It was that? the split screen. You were completely in the lobby. I was in the lobby. You when were that in the happened. lobby when that happened, and I missed it. <laughs> you Thanks missed a lot, it. Brandon K. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, no. just manipulating me, Sorg. Just yeah. manipulating Here, me with let's his go mind. get some popcorn with Charlie the Doe. Hey, what am I going to make the cameraman do tonight? <laughs> <laughs> you know, anyway. what a veteran. Um, all right. so Mike, Mike has no idea what we're talking about. I know, it's, it's really funny, <laughs> I have though. a little For bit the of three, idea You, me, that. and Bradley Ruthers are the only yeah, That's right, that's right. right now. Everybody else um, is really confused. Hey, we're, it's late in the game. Our evil, do you know about evil? Uh, My son digs evil. I'm aware of evil. He's got so much gimmick going on. Dude, he's evil like, had like some kind of title match on one show I watched like like yeah. recently. I think it was the night after Wrestle Kingdom. He had a pretty high end one or something, right? Yeah. People, I don't know, like the hardcore J- New Japan fans don't seem to be into evil. I think he's good. I like him more than Sonata, and people are like, "Wow, Sonata, woo!" Uh, Sonata doesn't do it for me. Uh, speaking of those two guys, they're like in a tag team usually. They're LIJ guys. The Los Ingobernables. Thank you. Los Ingobernables de Japón. Oh, come on. You did the Lucha show for how long? Yeah, I know. Zack Sabre Jr. You've heard of Zack Sabre Jr.? I've heard of this guy. Zack Sabre Jr.'s whole stick during this tournament was him losing in embarrassing ways and throwing the mother of all hissy fits after he Really? Yeah. Literally, like, when they ran, like, the highlight clips for all the wrestlers, (laughs) it was like, here's Sonata doing a moonsault. Here's Evil jumping off this thing. And here's Zack Sabre Jr. kicking a chair, throwing himself on the ground. (laughs) I'm like, did he win at all? He won a couple matches. But He won uh, four matches. Hmm. His or Billy Kay's tantrum. Billy Kay is on a exactly. level all yeah. her own. I'm so exactly. happy. But like, Zack Sabre I'm just, Jr. I'm just making sure. But I got to tell you, when it comes to the verbal tantrum, Zack Sabre Jr.'s rants are like, he gets into oh, like, they're British. this insane British vegan psycho <laughs> crap. It's nuts, man. Um, you got to be joking me. You got to be joking me. Yeah. yeah. Good on you, Zack. Kenta. 
Kenta, Kenta, Kenta. Kenta, Kenta did some things. Kenta won four straight matches. And then he got okada And then uh, it was downhill from there. And then he didn't win another match for the rest of the G1. He only won the first four and matches. And then he in the uh, bully clubbed. Well, I right? thought we weren't doing spoilers. Wait, 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 wait. I need a spoiler. There we go. We need oh. to know. What, what is Japanese for spoiler alert? Siri? Alexa? <laughs> All right. Hey, Google, what's Japanese for spoiler alert? It's probably spoiler alert. That you see, they don't have a word for spoiler in Japanese it? because no. say, the Japanese probably... respect the, the culture. Um, all right, so... Hey, Google, what's Japanese for respect? <laughs> it was there. It was doing it. It's doing it. I need to plug this into the system. Okay. Um, she's very all quiet. Right. So, she's tired. So how did Kenta do? Uh, is Hideo Itami dead? Pretty much. <laughs> um, Kenta did pretty good. I mean, he's not... Look, I, and, and at the urging of people in the chat room who have sent me other old Kenta matches to watch. Right. And right now they're yelling Shibata. Yeah, well, well, yeah, we can get to that too. But, you know, I, I watched some old Kenta matches. I'm not sure I fully grasp exactly what that was all the hype about yeah. but look all right kenta's a, a, a real good professional wrestler okay you know and he was in there with a bunch of really good guys because this a block was stacked so he had some really good matches were they all like absolutely awesome uh no but i think as the tournament went on he got better and better kind of mm -hmm. moxley was doing the same thing as the tournament got on and they were getting more accustomed to the new japan house style um they seemed to be getting more comfortable and they got better and better and kenta was busting out more uh, more and more impact moves. So the interesting thing about Kenta is how many of his moves got stolen by WWE guys. Like mm -hmm. Daniel Bryan and CM Punk like took all his moves. Mm -hmm. No wonder he couldn't get over. Anyway, poor Kenta. We've all seen this before. I know. Kota Ibushi, what can I say? He's the man. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm trying to think of one of these matches I should recommend for uh, Kota. Tanahashi and Kota Ibushi. That's a good one to check out. Kota Ibushi ripped off seven straight wins at the end of a... Uh, Oof. Back into the tournament Oof. to win the block. Jeez. Tanahashi. Um, <laughs> Do you have to say it that way? Tanahashi. Tanahashi. Hiroshi Tanahashi. The ace of the universe. In case you were curious about that reference from earlier. Um, uh, it was. Um, I thought he was really good. I thought he had some really good matches. But like the storyline for him was that Tanahashi's old and washed up. <laughs> so he only <laughs> got four wins, but he had some really great matches. His match with Ibushi was great. Osprey match was great. Um, I think I, I thought he had some really great matches, but the storyline is Tanahashi's getting old and busted. So sorry, Tana. Uh, and finally, um, Okada. He's great. He's Okada. Although I mean, I feel like you know Okada has this very deliberate style whenever he's doing his matches. So you end up getting into a, an Okada match. Uh, you need to pack a lunch because you're going at least <laughs> 20, 25 minutes on it. Um, and I wish that there yeah. would there had been some more like some more. Um, uh, some more variations on kind of like some of his matches. I wish he'd like snuck in like a 15 minute or 12 minute, you know, you know, like, like a surprise pinfall or something like that, just to keep you on your toes a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, because like I said, I mean, it, it's kind of like, you're like, okay, I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be awesome at the end, but we got to sit through all this shit at the beginning of the match, you know? And sometimes it feels like that depending on who he's in there with. So some of the matches Okada was having, you kind of feel like, all right, let's get on with it. And some of the matches, depending on the opponent, were absolutely awesome. So Okada and Osprey wanted to check out, and Okada and Kenta was really good too, awesome. um, mostly because of the New Japan fans gasping in fear that Kenta was going to defeat Okada. So <laughs> it was good stuff. It was a great tournament. So it was the finals was um, Jay White versus Kota Ibushi. Let me tell you, Sorg, Japan hates Jay White. Hate, 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 and, hate. And I understand so is the Carlin's uh, household. And Carlin's household hates him? Most of the free world hates Jay White. <laughs> um, I just don't feel like that can be said enough. Mm -hmm. How much Jay White gets under my skin when I'm watching him wrestle. wrestle. Yeah. So I tip the hat to you, but I also say, I hate you, Jay White. So now that we've got that on, I hate you, Jay White. Just make sure I stare into the camera so we can get that for the gift for later. <laughs> um, do you want me to talk about the finals for today? Um, and, and spoiler alert. Real quick. Spoiler alert. Right. Real yeah, quick. There we go. There we go. Real quick. Um, Abushi defeated Jay White to win the G1. Mm -hmm. He will, theoretically, he gets the briefcase, he gets to go to the Dome, 
he gets to fight Okada. Wait, is there a briefcase? As long case? as he's the champ. There is a briefcase. Whoa. I but, don't know which briefcase came first. Don't ask me. Probably WWE. Well, they go to the, the, the he has a shot at it at in, uh, in January. He gets a shot at the IWGP Heavyweight mm-hmm. Championship, which will will most likely be held by Okada. When they go to the dome, so it'll be a big, uh, big match for Abushi against Okada, and then the monster angle was Kenta joining the Bullet Club. Are dun, you dun, sitting dun. down, Sorg? I, I he am. Was in I'm a in six the studio. Man tag. I'm, I'm here. He's in a six man tag. It's him and uh, Ishi and who? Some other guy, Yoshihashi, and <laughs> they're taking on uh, the Tongans, the Gorillas <laughs> of Destiny, and Bad Luck Fale. I remember this because it was only this morning, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the match is going on, and I'm like, Kenta is not tagged into this match once. He's just standing on the apron. He's not doing anything. And finally, Ishii's crawling to the corner, and they do the, like, the Hulk Hogan Sid Justice thing where he reaches out. Oh, and no. Kenta just like hops off, the, hops off the apron, and the fans are like, <laughs> what? Um, and he kind of starts backing down the aisle. And, but the match doesn't end right there. Like Ishii still keeps fighting because Ishii's freaking awesome. So he keeps fighting. He suplexes. 500 pound bad luck folly and the crowd's going nuts and just as Ishii is is revving up his comeback Kenta hops into the ring and just knees him right in the face gives him to go to sleep and basically he he turns on his partner and they pin him and then so Kenta has joined the Bullet Club right that's crazy right and of course the Bullet Club's gonna do what they're gonna do start beating up young lions right um, the guys from the L.A. Dojo are there. And who is the head trainer at the L.A. Dojo is Katsuyori Shibata. And if I had to describe uh, for people who are not familiar with him, uh, he got hurt a couple years ago in a match against Okada. Got himself messed up real bad, um, like Daniel Bryan kind of injury, like head trauma kind of deal. Uh, so he and everyone, as far as everyone knows, is shut down career over. He is never wrestling again do not Shibata is never wrestling again he's like edge he's like daniel bryan until he came back he's never wrestling again so what happens all right so whenever kenta came into new japan it was shibata who introduced him shibata came out oh yeah to the entrance and then kenta came out so shibata brought kenta into new japan yeah he trained kenta for the g1 Kenta is in New Japan because of Shibata. Okay. So what happens the minute Kenta turns on his partners and joins the Bullet Club, Shibata starts marching down to the ring. He's going to whoop Kenta's ass for turning on he's his all, partners he, he, and joining the Bullet all, Club. No, you didn't. He's all, no, you didn't. I mean, he's not messing around. Uh, and Shibata just starts lighting up everything. He knocks out Tama Tonga. He knocks out. Uh, Tonga Loa, he gets bad luck Fale, he's beating the crap out of Kenta in the corner, the crowd is going ballistic, Sorg ballistic the loudest sound you can imagine coming from an arena, I want you to like imagine what it would have been like if we had not been tipped off that Daniel Bryan was coming back from his injury, and he just suddenly started fighting someone out of nowhere and was just like, all of a sudden, you're just like, oh, my God, he's wrestling again. And that's kind of what was happening here is Shabbat is just fighting. Uh, and there's a lot of back and forth about, is he really medically cleared? Is he really going to wrestle? Mm-hmm. But you cannot watch this angle happen. Oh no, And, of course, in the end, the Bullet Club's going to Bullet Club. So, of course, they got the advantage and they beat down Shibata. Mm-hmm. And, and Kenta, got, got, Kenta got the last laugh, at least on this occasion. Um, there, you cannot watch this play out and not think to yourself, we are going to get Kenta versus Shibata, probably on a very large show. So, I mean, I guess he's okay. I don't know. Maybe it will be a tag match or something like that. There was n- this is not the type of angle you do and then don't have the match. <laughs> All right. Even New Japan. <laughs> but anyway, that's my Fantastic. rant about New Japan. That's why I wanted to come in here at the end of the show because I knew I was just going to go on because otherwise and you're on. Gonna, otherwise and you're going to pop. <laughs> I'm, I, I gotta get it out of my system and, and right. no one's watching anymore because they don't want to hear my stuff no, basically they're still watching they're all still yeah, watching they're out there. I hope everyone's enjoying it we got, we got our normal numbers over on Facebook and over on the, the Twitch channel tonight uh, we got a lot of stuff going on sir somebody we know who has a channel of a, on a certain platform got a message from Sid Vicious's agent today <laughs> uh-huh. is it about a softball league <laughs> Damn it! I was making the same joke. Does like, he want to play all fan- day? Does he want to play fantasy football? 
That'd be fantastic. Uh, but anyways, I, I hopefully we can get the person on that is having that. Maybe he can uh, update us on uh, what's going on with that. Also, want to shout out. Uh, we are going to have David Lawless, the gavel. He'll be on tomorrow. He'll be talking about uh, Stomp Out Cancer, which is this Friday, which will have New Japan Bullet Club member Chase Owens against uh, Lee Moriarty, plus a lot of other amazing stuff this Friday uh, in uh, Lamont Furnace, PA, an uh, hour south of Pittsburgh. Please go and support that. Um, just a short drive from Pittsburgh. Just, no, yeah, it's not just a short drive. It's good enough for wrestling, man. Um, but uh, he will also be making an announcement. And he's been teasing me on this announcement. He says, "Sorg, you're gonna like this." I was, I was just like, "I was like, don't tell me. I want to be surprised." And he was like, "He was like, good, you know." Uh, and he, and he's been, he's like, "Can I give you a graphic? Can I do this?" And I'm just like, "Yeah, man, we can, we can do things, you know, just cool." Uh, so I guess there's some pretty cool stuff coming up from uh, the Lawless Camp. Uh, we also just announced uh, Scarlet of the uh, upcoming Angel Gate Eye Pay Per View will be on the show, mm. and in talks with um, a certain Mexican superstar that I got to catch up with this weekend uh, about coming on or uh, trying to confirm a date there too. Uh, so a lot happening, sir. Um, and uh, please, hey, you know, why are you, hey, you know, please, like I said, we're going to start broadcasting on Twitch over on IndieWrestling.us. I know there's a lot of people watching over there and uh, expanding this a little bit. Uh, so our lead-in was uh, was um, uh, Rise Wrestling from uh, from from May, <laughs> apparently, in April. So uh, mm. that was a pretty cool uh, kind of uh, deal. It's full wrestling programming, sir. So uh, 24 seven wrestling enjoyment. Well, I mean, we're not 24 seven on the, sh on the Twitch anymore. So we're, we're actually modifying oh. that a little bit, but that's what the network's for. Exactly. Indie wrestling network just, uh, just released the third and final episode of waffles with women with uh, jinx who apparently is dead. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it, 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 she has a new name uh, or something. I didn't, I don't, I don't no, know. I'm no, still trying to Sorg, Sorg, Jinx is dead. You're right. Jinx is dead. If, if you want more information, do your Google search. Do your Google search. Um, well, she's going to be on the show, uh, and is it's labeled as the last appearance of Jinx at Rise Wrestling in Springdale on Saturday, which we'll also be at. Um, so uh, her, uh, Katie Arquette, as well as Honey Badger, um, who 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 got I think killed off of Rise as well. Uh, so really, that was, a, that was a nasty chair shot. Oh, that was nasty, nasty. chair right. shot. Nasty. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But, um, uh, uh, but, but before that she had waffles and it was great. Uh, <laughs> and that's over on the network as well as finding Zach Gallon is on there as well. Um, and, oh, I didn't post that. Oh, I rendered it. I didn't post it for everybody yet. It'll be up in the next couple of days. Um, I dug up cause I think, I think I'm clear. I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on it this week. Uh, since we didn't have any new wrestling shows for the uh, network, everything's on VOD for, from this weekend. Uh, Duke and Doe's Hardcore Memories, mm. episode oh 10, boy. Uh, yeah, oh boy. is rendered and ready to pull the trigger. Uh, so look for that sometime this week, too. I need to watch the rest of it to remember what they talked about. <laughs> Make sure I don't need to cut any of it out because <laughs> they, they get into stuff. So, um, But uh, they're still excited about the, the idea of Kimono Wanalea. Uh, dancing at Top Sorger Trying Media Studios, I can tell you that. <laughs> They're still looking for that. Still looking for that. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. Mad Mike? Yes. 483 on the Twitter? Yes, indeed. Um, also, YouTube.com slash Poppy, because that's relevant again. Yeah, I saw you sent me a video. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. And also, Poppy did Poppy did the song for uh, the Io Shirai video package. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it sounded familiar. Yeah, it had yep. that. Mainstream Matt, one T on the tweets. One T, thank you very much, Sorgi. Thank you for giving me this outlet because otherwise uh, I don't need to be bottling up with all this New we were, Japan. We were, we were talking about how we need to have a roundtable where we so, invite. So, Matt, where we, Matt, are you oh. saying you need to have a G1 Climax? Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm yes. climaxed. I'm already. I'm done. I'm spent. Uh, it's over, and I'm going to take like a one-month nap now. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean... I just like the second or third time I've gone like really all in with the G1, and it was that's it a was really yeah, enjoyable. Yeah, you can't that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different company. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that anymore. Thank you, everybody, you who's joined us here, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time Tuesday for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Until then, Mayhem out. Wait.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.